Hey all, come to you from International Headquarters of Scotty D TV. But I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors today. And him and the boys were working on something a little different. They had a 2013 BMW M3 Lime Rock Park Edition. It's my understanding they only made 200 of these cars. And as soon as the guy bought it, he had to send to Steve's to have a custom interior put in it. I think it turned out cool. I think y'all are going to like it. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. Before I got Steve out here, I thought we'd take a uh, quick walk around of the car look around on the outside a little bit tell you what my research developed and that is that uh, i guess the bmw was coming to the end in 2013 of this particular generation m3 and they were doing some special editions in this lime rock park edition happened to be one of them very cool they all came in this color and that's beautiful <laughs> right from the factory that is really nice up under there uh, they all came in this color. They had some carbon fiber accents. Um, you know, we'll look at some of that closer here in a little bit. But basically, you know, not much different than what an American car company would do sometimes. And, you know, we would call it a sticker package. But uh, nothing, you know, nothing much to see up here, up under the front. But no big features, no motor change, nothing like that. Just, uh, just a very cool car on the outside. So anyways, let me go get Steve. Steve, something a little different here, brother. It is different, Scotty, especially from us. Especially, well, you know, we do a lot of mainly hot rod and old custom cars, and this guy. American. American cars. Right. And then Rusty Holman, he, uh, he called me up and wanted to know if we can do a custom interior in his BMW, and I was like, well, I'm sure we can. We right. can do a custom interior in anything. So he came up, and we we done some uh, talking, and this is what we came up with. So this is an all-custom interior designed by y'all. It's not like you installed one. Because it's a BMW, right? right? So, like, most of the time you think even custom, yeah. some company makes it and you put it on. But that's not the case. No, this is not a set of factory seat covers that you can buy and slip on. You know, it's a, it's all custom made. We put the Alcatara suede in the centers with an elongated diamond pleated look for that. And then all orange stitch. And then we use a orange um, perf leather which uh, come from Relic Leather, which was pretty cool because it matches the car really nice. You got the outside is orange, and then you get your orange and black interior. And, uh, I think it's a perfect detail. Yeah. That was one of the first things I was like, wow, to. I mean, the whole thing is wow, but yeah, I agree how that perf leather shows up. Just those little orange yeah. dots, right? Just enough. That was actually one of the things that uh, Rusty looked up on the internet and found that, and he wanted to know if we can incorporate it, and I said, like, oh, yeah, that would look really good. So it took a little bit of time to get it, but it was worth it. It looks really sharp. What else did y'all do to it? Well, originally the back seat and the front seats didn't even match. So we incorporated the front seat design into the back back seat to where, you know, gave it all that same look. From the factory, they didn't even have the same design in the back seat and the front seat, which was pretty weird. And you're talking about the actual seating design of the seat, right. not so much the stitching. Right. But like the back seat looked like it was out of one car and these were aftermarket seats that were put in it from the factory. Yeah, it just didn't match. The design didn't match or anything like that on it. So what we did, uh, we made that, of course, changed up the design on that and made it all match the front seats. And then the door panels, we uh, the, the little part that's orange in here, uh, we painted that it was originally black and we painted it orange to match the outside of the car and then put three um, orange stripes in it just, uh, just in, it, to incorporate it and made it look like the seats you know the seats got a little orange stripe in the top of them so it's sort of that bmw look yeah. you know european style look took the dash completely out and uh, recovered it in leather with the orange stitch in it that was not an easy easy job either well nothing on this thing is easy no. but you know it's these germans it's, they it's put the stuff right. together to stay together not to they're come not apart. made to come apart right. the door panels everything is heat sealed together and it, it, it's a job to take it all apart put it together right right where it's not rattling on you going down the street and all that stuff but in the end result it's got a really cool looking interior and it really pops with the exterior dude this is the interior of this car should have came with yeah right this oh this yeah is, this it looks like some kind of special edition interior yeah and it's got all the real carbon fiber pieces in it that you the, all the carbon fiber pieces that you've seen you could actually buy it for this car so rusty ordered all that for us and then we incorporated it put it all back together when we when we installed the car back together no, I think it turned out awesome, dude. We did the Alcatara headliner with the double stitch in it. And that then, headliner's yeah. way cool, too. So everything, everything's covered on the interior. Um, he already had the floor match, which I thought matched 
perfect. Yeah, I'm a darn good bike anyway. So yeah, like, no, I thought those were custom too. So yeah, no, they match perfect. Couldn't really do any better on that. So that, those worked great. And that orange you used is perfect match to the yeah. the body color too. Yeah, I showed Rusty all the materials that we would actually use on the car, and he agreed with it and liked it. So, um, and then the, the end result, that's what you get right there. Dude, now like I said, I think that's the interior this thing should have came with from BMW. But again, you and the boys rocked it, Steve. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and again, this was one of 200, 200. cars, and he wanted one of one. <laughs> he didn't want one of 200. Yeah. He wanted the only one like that. So hopefully, hopefully we achieved that for him. He never even drove. He's not drove the car yet. As far as I know, he bought the car and had it shipped straight to us to have the interior done here. How cool is that? Because, I mean, it still had the drive-out tag on it. So it is, it's not like he could have drove it anywhere or done anything with right. it. So, yeah. yeah. So. No, I think y'all nailed it, man. Even if it's a BMW, doesn't matter. Y'all can make anything look good. We can do whatever needs to be done to make it look sharp, to change the whole appearance of your car. Just change the interior. It just it gives you that personal uh, feel about your own personal car. So. And you spend so much time in the inside. <laughs> yeah. You don't get to see the outside as much as you spend on the inside. Yeah, and exactly. Take it from an owner of a Pro Auto custom interior, your whole attitude changes about your car <laughs> when you have one of those. Well, again, thanks for giving me time, Steve. Awesome job. All right. Thank you, Scotty. Appreciate it. Before we run, I wanted to just give you a quick look up underneath the hood. Uh, it, again, it's the 4-liter uh, V8 BMW motor and uh, the one that came in all the M3s. Nothing, uh, no extra horsepower, nothing, you know, nothing, <laughs> nothing extra. From what I understand, I'm sure there's going to be BMW fans out there going to light me up because, uh, you know, there was something, you know, I've overlooked, but... Just, just from the quick research I did. They were cool cars to begin with. You didn't have to do much to them. But anyways, uh, BMW does nice, do a nice job of tucking all that up under the hood. Very clean looking. So there you go from Steve Holcomb, Pro Auto Custom Interiors. A 2013 BMW Lime Rock Park Limited Edition M3 Coupe. Something a little different for you. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.